Come on. Not your lucky day. Freak. Yeah, welcome to my workshop. Show me. So long. Mate, your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? 
Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah! That'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us, owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Olgierd. You? Not likely. I'm Olgierd. <laughs> <laughs> You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Olgierd. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he... Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Sculpture isn't really my thing. Can't blame you. Contemporary art's become superficial and bland. A century on, they'll be using just such nudes on placards to hawk bricks and other banalities. Mark my words. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned, not a flaw on its surface, painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside.
<laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. Is some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her. Fair sabre, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> <laughs> no. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become his victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. Hey. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fert sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Down she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Post papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative puss peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it, then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabres. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt! 
The Alchemy Inn on the main square! They're eating! Go, go. Let's go! Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. of uh, they were cooking fist tech took most of the equipment only left what was broken true as true can be dangerous trade narcotics open window boot print on the bed somebody was in a hurry Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like.
crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. Given me no choice. The Ophiri markings on it. I'd find someone who could explain them to me.
What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two... Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six... Great start. Now step aside. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colours. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would... But how do you even... I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jacques Aldersberg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our death. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant! Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely.
shall be over soon. Shut up and fight. Let's go! Come on. Of it is a stern ruler, but a just one. The mark of a Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me where you have it.
So long.